This is a real big Lego set, and I'm building this at 5 o'clock in the fucking morning, almost 6 o'clock, and no sleep at all. Woo, what's up, YouTubers, one and all? We're building the biggest, uh, in terms of piece count and also height set of Season 2, but it is not the Season 2 finale. This is the Space Jornin, the Jor, Jonor, Jor, Jonorin, Jonorian? I think I just need to say it. I, I don't know. Basically, this is a knockoff Lego set building a space station. 1,059 pieces, and it's going to be a big one. Like, tall. Like, this tall, just about. So, yeah. So, let's open it up. Alright, tape off uh, last night, just in advance. And let's get into it. So, we got a sticker book. We got... Wait, is this seriously how, how, what? This is the instructions? What the frick? Okay, um, got it. Got it. So we also have a minifigure pack. Where the faces all look weird and whatnot, but I guess it's doable, so we'll put that to the side. We got bag two. Ah, so it's just like the, uh, the diorama we did the, uh, the, uh, last season, where they're packaged in huge bags, but each bag has, like, 300, 400 pieces in it. Okay, so, this is bag one, so we open that first, and then we have bag three. So... Let's open bag one, and let's do bag one. So. We also have a brick separator in here. It's black, but it works. So. No, this guy's pulls up the white arms. Okay, they tab in real easily. It's not too terrible. This hand doesn't want to clip in. Ow. Okay, I'm not stressing my hands this morning. I'm not. Oh my wasting time on this at the moment. I can't even seem to fucking plug it in. What the hell? Do you know what? Fuck the minifigures. Just fuck the minifigures. We really don't need them. That is the big thing right now, is that we don't need the minifigures. And on top of that, they don't tell you how to build a minifigure, so... Fuck it. Fuck if I care. We'll just toss it aside, because I'm not sure if any of those actually makes anything or that's just that so we'll just toss those aside fuck the minifigures because this is a knockoff set and that's always pretty hard to put on so here we go with the first bag okay so this is the first bag we
Okay, so there's the axe. Here is the radio. Here, well, actually, here's the shovel. Here's the radio, and here's the wrench. Radio and wrench. Okay, nubs are done. Alright, toss that to the side. So let's actually open up the bag. Also a base plate there, so that's good. Let me open that up. Let me open this up. Alright, so we'll get to building. Okay, so they clip on just like normal Lego pieces, like really normal. That's the first thing I notice. Like the steps are like really condensed. Like I kid you not, they tried saving the budget as much as they could on this. I will give them credit for that, but that is a kind of a bad thing to do for a, a set this size. Condensing all the instructions inside of a smaller booklet. But what are you gonna do? Let's just see how this ends up in the long run, because this is just the first of it. Oh no, we actually have to put these together. No. Fine. That's foreshadowing, by the way. That is foreshadowing to something else in a, a different thing. In fact, uh, at the time of this recording, do you remember that battleship thing that I mentioned? Well... That's actually season three. I've changed my mind about season three so far. So that has not yet reflected into the season finale build just yet. I will be making uh, more recordings for season two for season two's finale. But at the moment, I am currently trying to finish all the videos in between. Here, this is what we'll do. 
I'm going to put it on, and then I'm going to put the brick back on. That makes better sense. And then possibly around, like, 9-ish, I'm going to be heading to Walmart today. So, yeah, that'll be fun. And also got something else for season 2 on the way that was entirely unexpected. But to be honest, I did want to try it. So don't exactly blame me for getting it. But I finally got peak. And by peak, I mean... Yellow Park Scourge. I am trying my very first non-transforming transformer. I want to see how it goes because this this is actually a little bit something that I have never done before and it's kind of off-putting to actually get it like really off-putting I just really wonder how this is all going to end up when this is done, because this is already shaping to be an interesting build. And I wonder if it'll have any leftover pieces, or it will just be all of them used. I don't know for certain. I like how the build is real stable though. Like it's not flims or anything. Another foreshadowing. To another build.
It's going to be very sturdy soon, so. Does, it require, does this require any stickers here, or no? I think we're almost done the first build. This would technically be considered the bag one of Lego, so yeah, I mean. This is bag one, and we're gonna do this. So. Okay, it's in. It's in just like that. These Lego, some of these Lego pieces are hard to actually put in. Give me a moment. Alright. Just like that. And we're just about done with this build, so we just gotta build this part. And then we are officially done with the bag one. Even though this is still bag one, this is actually like the end. Like if we were to separate this into different Lego into different actual Lego number bags, this would be technically the real bag one. So yeah. that time then take this and put this here and there you go there's the observation disc oh and then we also got a sticker finally number one which this one wants us to put it right there. Why? Oh wait, hold on. That's one big piece. Never mind. There, just like that. All right, and that is bag one. That is the end of bag one. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be doing bag two, aka the vehicle next video. So. If you enjoyed this video, hope you consider clicking notifications to be updated on all updates and videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, um, till all at once, since this is a space theme, space balls, transformers, and we also had dark and moon. So yeah, till all at once.